Man, y'all know where I'm at. It's your boy Loso 2.0. Boy, I'm feeling good today, man. Starting off with some good news. Two things. Getting all this stuff ready for my fiance's birthday. I'm excited. You guys will see. And also, promotion at my job, doubling my income. Let's get it. And met another copywriter friend who we're going to work together, do some things, some great things happening, man. I'm telling you guys, I'm excited. But today, that's not what this is about. It's not to brag. It's not to talk about that stuff, but it's actually to help you out, to understand who you are. I made a post about this before, and I know I've been MIA for a couple of days. Get my mind right. I need to stay more consistent. I know. But I'm back. And listen, I'm trying to be more consistent ever. Show you guys whatever. Because all these good blessings are happening in my life. And I want to continue to make them happen. So who are you? I talked about this briefly. You probably answered this question with a bunch of adjectives that describe you. Trust me, I have myself. I always would say, oh, I'm a copywriter. I'm a high income copywriter. Because I say the creed every day. Oh, I'm a black king. Yes, I am. Tribe of Judah. What's going on? I'm a boxer. Yeah, I know. That's the sport I love to do. I, by the way, I love it more than basketball. I know it's crazy to say, but really, I do. A husband, future husband. Yeah, I am. But these are all adjectives. These are not who I am. These are not true. And my mentor challenged me by always asking me this question of who I am. So I'm going to challenge you guys by teaching you guys who you guys are. My mentor remind me to open up the Bible to Genesis 127. Now, if you're an atheist, that's okay. That's your business. That's nothing to do with me. If you're not Christian, that's okay too. The Bible is not just for Christians. The Bible, because I'm not Christian, but the Bible is for other people. Now, I'm not here to preach. So if you think this is going to be a, pre uh, a preacher thing going on, I'm not really, I forgot what it's called. That's not what this is. But this is to show something. We were made in the image of God. Now, if you know what an image is, it's you know, taking a picture. A picture. Remember the picture. So if I take a picture right now, even this video right now, this is not me, but this is a mirror of myself. Or this is actually you looking at another version of myself, but it's not truly me. Like, this is really me right here, but me looking at this phone or this video or picture, that's not me. But I, that is me. So if we are made of a copy of God, so what does that make us? It makes us God's lowercase g, though, not uppercase. Uppercase, the uppercase G is for the almighty, the most high himself. We are lowercase g gods. Now, God is fruitful. And when you hear fruitful, people think, OK, let's go get our freak on. No, that's not what this means. God does not mean by fruitful to go around and have a bunch of kids, because if that was the case, my father would be the top dog around here. Plenty of brothers and sisters. Trust me. This means to be productive and not just productive on anything it means be productive on the right things because you will build a legacy doing these things. It's a domino effect. You keep getting better each day and then boom, you start hitting it. You just hit everything all at once. Just a year ago, I'm telling you, I felt like I just had this conversation with my fiance a year ago. I felt like I was down. I felt like I wasn't anywhere where I needed to be. I just tried to get better each day and boom, now I have a big difference since that last year and you can too. Now, we have to build a legacy because that's what gods do. That's why we have a whole Bible around about our most high, the most high. He built a legacy. We went on similar to his, not as big as his, but we because we can't we can't put a mark as big as God can or most high can on this world. But we can try to make one that will make an impact on different people, because at the end of the day, like I said before, you are judged based. Your worth is based on how well you affect other people. So. In order to do this, in order to stay productive, in order to stay fruitful, in order to stay a God, you have to consistently remind yourself of who you are. Just don't forget who you are. And when you do this, you keep trying to be the best version of yourself. And with being the best version of yourself, you'll keep trying to improve in these adjectives that you use to describe yourself and build a legacy every day. Reading, I'm reading copy, writing books right here while I'm at work. Fourth time reading the handbook. You know what I mean? Being consistent, reading something over and over again or doing something over and over again. That's how you learn. Rewriting sales letters, boxing. I'm at practice twice a week, sparring as much as I can. Even in here, I'm just doing little things like this, going to the gym. I'm running, get my cardio up, doing little things that's going to drop my weight down, things that's going to make me better at boxing. As a black king, always trying to be surrounded by other black kings, other gods that are also doing what I'm doing. I'm trying to be around other people in relationships or even know about what relationships are to happy marriages because I know I want one myself and that's the one I'm going to build. You got to consistently remind yourself of who you are. 
You are a god, lowercase g. So start acting like it. With that being said, 2.0 out.